Hi, my name is Mary Jean Busey. I'm a nurse practitioner in MS, and I have been a nurse practitioner for 18 years working with people who have MS. I'm also a, a professor at Stony Brook University, which is on Long Island. Today I wanted to talk about MS and aging. And I think it, this is a very important topic. And the reason I'm feeling this way is because being an, an MS nurse practitioner for such a long time, I've seen a lot of people get older, including me. But those people who have MS get older too. At one point, MS used to be thought of as a fatal disease and that you died from MS and your lifespan was shortened. But over time, we've realized that that's not true. Persons with MS will live as long as anybody else. And so we are really looking at how aging affects people with MS. So how does aging affect anybody? Well, right now, we have about 76 million baby boomers who are aging. Those are the people that were born between 1946 and 1969. And that's a lot of people, 76 million. And thousands of those people have multiple sclerosis. How are they doing? What have we found? Well, there's been limited research, as I said, but there is some research that we can count on right now. And what we found is that most per persons with MS have some disability. Now, that disability can vary from person to person. However, we do know that there is some physical disability. So in my study that I did on people with MS, I looked at 200 patients over the age of 60. Most of my people in my study needed a cane. However, there were two ends of the spectrum. I had many people who needed nothing um, and walked regularly, and then I had some people who were in a wheelchair all the time. So what does that tell us? Well, people with MS can do okay. Um, very interestingly enough, people with MS who are older are more willing to accept the fact that they may need a cane or they may need a walker, or they may need assistance from somebody else. They're much more willing than younger people because younger people feel if they don't do it themselves, something's gonna go wrong and they'll become weaker. Where MS people who are older say, mm, I've done that already, I'll use the cane. This person can help me and I'll be happier. People who are older with MS seem to have fewer mental health problems than people who are younger. Um, so what does that mean? Well, there are, there's less depression, there's less sadness, and it seems over time people with MS adapt to MS easier. So as you get older, you adapt to whatever you are and whoever you've become. And MS is, is very similar. People with MS who've had it for a long time pretty much know the disease. They feel comfortable with the disease, they've had it for a long time, it's kind of sits with their life. And the other thing about it is that they're not the only one who has a disease. Their neighbor may have cancer, another neighbor may have heart disease. And so it's not uncommon to have a chronic disease when you're older. So they say, I just have MS, and that really was a very common comment that was made in my study. Um, persons who are older with MA, MS report less cognitive impairment. And why is that? Well, I think they think, well, you know, it's probably my age. Whereas a 30-year-old would say, oh, this is cognition, I'm having a problem thinking. An older person would say, it's my age. And whether or not their cognitive impairment is a little more than their neighbor, they figured everybody has it. Um, and so because of reasons like that, they seem to have a better quality of life and, let, and better health reported outcomes than a younger group. They feel better about themselves. They've grown into this. They've grown into MS and they've adapted. So how do older people with MS manage their MS? They plan their days, they prioritize what they need to do, and they give back to the society. This may be by, by volunteering, by helping out family members, whatever they can do. 
being with friends, they give back. And two th things I want to leave you with. First of all, it is always necessary to have a primary care provider because as you age, gen probably you'll get some other disease like high blood pressure or um, hyper high cholesterol or some other arthritis and that's very common in the aging population and so it is as common in the aging population is it's going to be common in MS and we found that to be true so it's very important to see your primary care provider and do regular screenings and make sure you're up to date with all your immunizations the second thing is the person who's going through life with you your care partner your care friend whoever it is that helps you out they need to be, take care of themselves too. It's sometimes it's very difficult to um, manage the burden that they may feel in caring for you. So make sure your care partner gets time to themselves, takes care of themselves, and sees their primary care providers too. I've hope, I hope you've learned something about aging with MS and have a nice day.